The sky's the limit for Amazon's flying warehouses. Amazon has filed a patent for a self-driving airship that can store inventory and be used as a base to launch delivery drones. Amazon's airborne fulfillment centers would hover at an altitude of 45,000 feet and be the focal point of a network of unmanned aerial vehicles. The self-driving airships would carry a cargo of Amazon products and unmanned drones to deliver goods to customers. According to a patent filed by Amazon, the drones would navigate horizontally to their destination and would use little to no power. The airships would be replenished by smaller unmanned service vehicles, which could carry workers, drones, fuel and inventory. One potential use of the airships could be for large events, such as concerts or football games, where they could be used to deliver souvenirs or food. The patent for the Amazon airship was filed in 2014, but only came to light last week. Amazon has successfully tested deliveries by drone in the UK and is waiting for federal approval to roll out the service in the United States. Here are some more stories about Amazon's growing empire. Amazon submits patent for drone docking stations. When Amazon announced it would soon deliver Prime packages via drones, it didn't account for long-distance travel. But the company has thought of a solution. Docking stations in areas where dedicated facilities are far and few in between. Amazon has submitted a patent for using tall structures, like lamp posts, as docking and recharging stations for its delivery drones. The patent is for a series of multi-use unmanned aerial vehicle docking stations, which would enable drones to recharge remotely in between deliveries. The company would also be able to provide navigational guidance to lost drones. Lost drones would send error signals to local antennas, which would respond by directing the drone to a nearby station. From there, the drone would receive rerouting information to complete its delivery. The stations could also double as delivery hubs, where drones can drop off packages to be picked up by its receiving Amazon Prime user or another drone for further delivery. Amazon wants to allow drones to perch atop existing tall structures, such as lamp posts, cell towers, power poles, and buildings. The company is looking to develop a system of UAV drones that would deliver packages within 30 minutes or less. Amazon opens a grocery store that could be a job killer. Amazon is opening a grocery store in downtown Seattle early next year where customers can make their purchases without waiting in checkout lines. To make a purchase at the Amazon Go grocery store, one would need an Amazon account and a smartphone with the Amazon Go app. Customers are admitted into the store after opening their Amazon Go app and scanning it on the turnstiles. The app generates a QR code that logs the customer into the store's network and connects to the customer's Amazon account. This prevents shoplifting as the customer's identity is recognized and stored. The entire store is equipped with computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning technology. It can automatically detect when products are taken from the shelves and record them in virtual shopping carts. The products would be removed from the customer's virtual cart if they put them back on the shelves. When leaving the store, customers have to pass through turnstiles equipped with sensors that signal the app to calculate the cost of their purchases. Payments are then charged to the customer's Amazon account. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 3.4 million Americans work as cashiers. A consumer behavior research firm points out that Amazon's technology might wipe out 75% of typical grocery store staff. Amazon is constructing a wind farm that contains a hundred turbines. Amazon has announced a new project that aims to result in renewable energy that will power thousands of homes across America. Amazon Wind Farm Texas is underway. The diameter of each wind turbine will be two times the wingspan of a Boeing 747 plane. The farm in Scurry County, West Texas will be comprised of more than 100 wind turbines in total. The wind turbines will generate an estimated 100,000 megawatt-hours of wind energy every year, 
enough to power close to 90,000 homes in the United States. The latest development by the company, along with four other clean energy projects, should generate 2.6 million megawatt hours of energy each year to power more than 240,000 homes. Amazon Mini Drone could be the personal assistant of the future. Amazon is working on a pocket-sized drone that could revolutionize police work, help firefighters tackle blazes, and even find your lost car. Amazon was granted a U.S. patent on Tuesday for a miniature drone that would be fitted with microphones and a camera. The drone would respond to voice commands and has several potential functions. It could be used to find a missing child through face recognition, an RFID tag, or barcode on the child's clothing. Amazon also imagines the pocket-sized drones may help the police catch suspects. It could hover above traffic stops to record interactions between officers and citizens. Firefighters could also use the drones to identify people trapped in burning buildings or equip the devices with thermal imaging cameras to locate fire hotspots. The technology may also be used in search and rescue missions, for example, to find a downed airliner. Civilian uses include finding your car when you forgot where you parked or simply filming cool stuff like a GoPro. Amazon submits patent for pay-by-selfie technology. The Seattle-based company has filed a patent application for technology that will soon allow customers to pay by taking a photo of themselves instead of keying in passwords. Amazon hopes to improve security for its users with the new technology. When a user logs into the Amazon app, after selecting their items for purchase, users will be asked to take a selfie, performing a requested action like blinking one eye. The app will then employ facial recognition software to confirm the user's identity in place of stored or re-entered passwords. The user's identity is then either rejected or confirmed. Only when confirmed can a purchase be completed. While Amazon concedes it's possible in some circumstances to trick the system with a two-dimensional image of a person, it expects the technology to improve security. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!